Just for future reference, here's a few things that we have found out lately, just in the last year or two. These are things we found out are, in fact, racist. Now, the first thing, um, we haven't even gotten to the story yet, but we will. Trees are racist. There is a uh, Portland high school that is considering a mascot, and the mascot they were considering is a tree. You know, like Stanford does. Stanford has a tree as their mascot. and I mean, which needs to be addressed in of itself. Right? That's ridiculous. So the Portland High School uh, delayed the vote to change its mascot to an evergreen tree over concerns about its potential ties to lynching. I can't. Yeah, yeah, lynching. So <laughs> As if it's the tree's fault. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, trees are racist. Mm-hmm. We found out video games are racist. Dress shirts are racist. Filibusters are racist. Oprah memes are racist. You know, a black woman, you can't do a meme about a black woman. Gifted programs. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Uh, Those are racist because too many uh, disproportionately white people qualify for gifted programs. Newborn babies are racist. Beginning at three months old, unless you teach them otherwise. But that's only new newborn white babies. Yeah, let's clarify this. Uh, Three-month-old black babies are not, and Hispanic babies are not. Only the white babies. Hmm. AP classes are racist. Dating apps are racist. Tiki bars. Fossil fuels. Laws against genital mutilation, we have found, are racist. Sheet music. Just had that story this week, did we not? Late last week, maybe? Mm-hmm. Sheet music is racist. Not killing black babies <clears throat> is racist. <laughs> Quantum computing is racist. <laughs> As if I had to tell you that. Right. You knew that from the beginning. Architecture, of course. Disney films. Pixar. Looking at somebody is racist. Dr. Seuss is racist. Tipping is racist. Wait, what? Yeah, you can't tip people because <laughs> what? I forget what the deal is. We'll have to look up the tipping racism. Right. Why is... um, chess, AI, racist. Math, of course, racist. The national anthem, certainly racist. Washington and Lincoln are racist. Merit-based a- admission, oh my gosh. Based on merit rather than the color of someone's skin, and that's racist. Betsy Ross flag was racist, then it wasn't, but now it probably is again. Being unable to understand an accent is racist. The word picnic is racist. (laughs) (laughs) A white boxer knocking out a black boxer. Well, obviously, that's racist. (sighs) Reopening schools, racist. White people are racist. Classical music is racist. Rock. Mowing the yard. Mowing the yard? White people, again. Owning a dog. Fat phobia is racist. Opera is racist. Soap. Cereal. Milk. Robots. No. Crosswalks. Highways. Jogging. Bike riding. These are all based on stories we've had over the last year or two. Uh, Street smart. Free speech. SpongeBob SquarePants, that was fairly recent too. Ethnic food aisles are racist. What? Cleaning poop out of the streets. <laughs> Clear sign of racism right there. <laughs> Bells and uh, just about anything else you can possibly imagine. Yeah. Uh, the word Chicago. Chicago. Racist. Apartments. That's racist. Racist. The word racist was said on CNN and NBC 4,100 times in one week. Oh, 4,100 times? Now that's combining CNN and MSC's, MSNBC, but that is in one week! 4,100 times. <laughs> Jeez, that is <clears throat> unbelievable. Still, that's uh, about 300 on each. If you take each network, it's about 300 a day. (laughs) A combined 600 per day? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Oh, that's fun.
Yeah, it's not fun. I mean, that's just the last year or two, right? Yes. That's not going back. An oldie but a goodie is hurricane names. All right. Right? Like, if you don't name them more black-sounding names, then you're racist. Well, then what if the hurricane with Kills a black-sounding name becomes a destroyer? Yeah. Now it's racist that you named the bad <laughs> hurricane. After they, you know they'd do that, too. They would, they would absolutely jump all over that. Uh, just to finish off the uh, Portland High School story about trees yeah. being racist, mm -hmm. Ida B. Wells Barrett, uh, Ida B. Wells Barnett High School, named after a, the prominent black activist and reporter who documented lynching, was set to vote on the new mascot until a board director shared community concerns <laughs> over the tree's imagery. Uh, I'm wondering if there was any concern with the imagery there, you know, and using a tree as our mascot. Uh, I think everyone comes with blind spots, and I think that might have been a really big blind spot. Oh, Lord. You're forgetting that trees were used in lynching. So, wondering if anybody's concerned about that. <laughs> I, yeah, I, this, uh, there's a uh, Help us. I know, right? <laughs> I, I mean, we're, we're, we're done. <laughs> Aliens, what the hell are you waiting for? <laughs> You're above our cities all the time, or our rural areas. Uh-huh. Just come down and help us. Seriously. Okay? Throw us a line. I mean, at this point, we are begging you. Begging you. Please <laughs> take us over. <laughs> Show us the way. Uh, seriously. I mean, we... Continue. One of the committee members involved uh, said the issue was broached during the process. We did talk about it, but we were looking at the symbolism more as a tree of life than a tree of death. And so that's why they didn't initially say, all right, let's table this because a tree is too racist. Uh, <laughs> but now they are because it was brought up by somebody. Uh, yeah, concerns in the community. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, so you know what they're going to do? They're going to get with Ida B. Wells' uh, family and make sure they're cool with it. If I'm Ida B. Wells' family, I'm sitting by the phone. I'm like, I can't wait for this phone call. What do we want to... Let's screw with the white people. What hey. should we say the nickname should be? Hey, uh, Ida B. Wells' family, uh, we're considering a tree for our mascot. Do you find that racist? Yes. Because oh, of, no. Oh, Lynching. Yeah, no, yeah no. right. How mm. dare you even bring oh, that boy. up? Oh, boy. So you understand. Uh, what if we used a rock? Um, no, they've been thrown at black people thrown, before. Thrown through windows of so, black businesses. Yeah, you can't. What can't else you got, that. Whitey? Hmm. Uh, what if, what if we called ourselves the Flames? No, have you ever seen a burning cross? Thank you. Uh, no. Thank you. you may not do that. Strike three. What Strike else? Three. What else you got there, well, you White got School Board? You know what they should do it is uh, call it the Ida B. Wells High School Sports Team. No matter what sports team it is, you call every every team that plays at Ida B. Wells, the sports team. Hmm. Just use the Washington uh, football team yeah. uh, theory and just call it the sports teams. There's something offensive there <laughs> somewhere. probably is. Yeah. Uh, there, there's I something can't think there. of it right now. Yeah, we'll get back to you. Give me some time and uh, uh, we'll noodle that one out. We, it's not that we can't communicate one side with the other. Mm -hmm. It's like we can't even exist as a society. I mean, you, this is madness. Oh, the evergreen tree might be racist. And plus, these the people that are objecting to this in the community are the people that are known to worship trees. And so now they're canceling trees? They can't even make their mind up. These people are mentally ill. Yeah. Never has that been more true than it is now. Uh, seriously. You are mental if you're starting to think that trees are racist. Oh, boy. You could, I mean, you could use that for everything. What about a car? What if we use a car? Nope. Black people have been hit by cars before. Yeah. I mean, they've been dragged by cars before. Yeah. yeah. So scratch the car thing off your list. What else you got? Huh. What if we use a cannon? No. Whoa. Cannons have been shot at black people. Right? And Hispanics. Try again. Yeah, that's really, really... That's like super mega Doppler racist. Yep. You know how many minorities have been killed by cannons? Mm-hmm. More than one. Try harder, white More man. More than one. Try harder. So we're gonna have to think about this for a while. We're gonna put some thought to it, and then we're gonna we're gonna call Ida B. Wells, well, the school, not Ida, because I doubt she's alive. 
Uh, no, she's she's we we lost her. We did lose Ida we lost B. Wells her. Ah, damn. You know, back during the we lost her Hoover administration, I believe it was. Oh, dang it! Sorry. So young. <laughs>